Yeah, you guys remember that? Hey everyone, welcome to another video, and welcome to this video where I'll be talking about the Schmoes No, the Schmoes No Movie Show, or as I call this video, the Fall of the Schmoes No. Yes, um, I have always been a big fan of the Schmoes and the Schmodown. I'll be talking about the Schmodown as well. Uh, the Schmoes No was like they were like one of the first like big YouTuber, a uh, big movie critic YouTubers out there. Jeremy Johnson's right there too, but. Jeremy John's just like surpassed them. So, so did Chris Stuckman. Even almost the flick peg at one time. But uh Schmoes No were like they were like the first. They were like OG. They started in like 2008. And I think they went all the way to 2019. Because now the Schmoes No channel is just I think the movie trivia Schmodown. I think that's what their channel's called now. It's they're not the Schmoes No anymore. They are the trivia show Schmodown. And it's just all movie trivia. I think every now and then they, every like week or something, they do like a podcast and stuff. But it is the schmo down. That it's just movie trivia. That's pretty much mostly what they focus on. It is no longer Mark Ellis and Christian Harloff just talking movies, which is what made most people fall in love with the schmoes. Um, I always found them very underrated critics too. Uh, I always loved Chris Duckman and Jeremy Johns, but I was like, hey, the Schmoes are very underrated. They don't get as much love and stuff, but when they went to Collider, they got really big. So that's when the Schmodown got big, because the Schmodown was just on the Schmoes No Movie Show, and it was just the Schmoes and you know, Katie Sackhoff and Alicia Malone. Like, it was just a fun little trivia thing they did. I think it was like... I think they started in, like, what, 2014 or something? And, like, 2014, 2015, and it was just a fun little game they played. But then when they went to Collider, 2016, the Schmodown became, like, a huge thing. And from, like, 2016, 2017, and 2018, the Schmodown was massive. Like, the views for the Schmodown was, like, 100,000, 200,000 views, People were loving the Schmodown. I loved the Schmodown and all the personalities they brought on in the Schmodown. Like, it was just awesome. And anyone who loved movies and trivia, like, everyone wanted to, like, participate in the Schmodown and see how well they did and stuff. And then they came out with, like, leagues, like, their inner, geek, inner geekdom, the Star Wars League and stuff. It was just, it was a lot of cool. It was almost like professional wrestling, but with movie trivia and stuff. And, it was it was really fun to watch and it just completely went away and soon as the all the people left Collider and that, the crazy shit that happened in Collider and stuff, uh, it just it was never the same. Never was the same and you can almost say it sucks. Collider now sucks and even the schmoes suck. <laughs> I'm not attacking them personally, I'm just saying their channel is, is crap, like, the Schmodown sucks now, and just, it's not interesting anymore, and just, no one gives a shit, and you don't believe me, go on the Schmoes now, right now, and look at their views, uh, the Schmodown used to get 100,000, 200,000, 300,000 views a video, now look at the Schmodown now, they get, like, 5,000 views, 10,000 views, like, it's crazy the drop. Like, the views just dropped from the Schmodown. When it was on Collider, everyone was watching it. And now people don't even know it exists still. They're like, oh, that's still a thing? <laughs> like, that's what people think now. Like, oh, that's, that's a thing still? Like, the views are so low. And even the Schmozno podcast... It gets, like, a thousand views. Like, it, no one cares now about the Schmodown. And no one cares about the Schmoes anymore. And the question is, why? Why don't people care anymore? What made them drop? Like, even when the Schmoes know were just the Schmoes know, their views were still pretty good. Like, when, they, when it was just Christian and Mark, their reviews did relatively well. They got like 10,000, 20,000 views. Even like when they did big movies, like they get like 100,000 views, 200,000 views. They don't get even close to that now. Not even close. And they don't even have, they don't gain a lot of subscribers. Like 
they've been in like 300,000, 200,000. They've been in that range for like <laughs> like five years. Like they don't gain a lot of followers. And I know like a good example is I watched this gaming channel. His name is Duly Noted, Jeremy Dooley from Achievement Hunters, Rooster Teeth. He has a gaming channel. He has, what, like 104,000 subscribers? 104,000. And his videos get, like, 50,000, 60,000 views. And he has 100,000 subscribers. The Schmo, the Schmo Down now has 300,000 subscribers. And they're lucky to get 10,000, 20,000. So that just shows you people are still subscribed from years ago, but no one's watching. Nobody cares about the Schmoes anymore. Again, why? Why don't people give a shit? Like, why didn't? Why does no one care? Is it? Is it because they're just a fad? Like, eventually, all things just die eventually. And I would say not really, because there's other channels. Like Jeremy Johns is still going strong. He still gets a lot of views. Chris Stuckman still gets a lot of views. Uh, the flick pick has went pretty down, but that's his own doing. But uh, the schmoes, they just they. People, some the original people who subscribed to the Schmoes, they just liked it for Mark and Christian, the two guys talking movies, but they added so many people to it, and no one cared about the other people. Well, people did, but the original people who subscribed, like back in like 2008, 2009, 2010, like I subscribed to them in like 2010, I subscribed for Mark and Christian, them two talking movies. That was the best part of the Schmoes, is the two of them, and their chemistry with each other, and they're both very different. Like, Christian's, like, this, like, father, older gentleman, and he seems, like, you know, he he hates certain movies, he's kind of bitter towards them, but he's still an enjoyable guy. And Mark is more, like, the good guy and having a good time. He's the comedian, always cracking jokes, and they worked off each other really well. And the two of them and their dynamic together what is, is what made the Schmoes good and what i liked about it i mean when they did the schmoes no movie show the podcast and stuff and even like their side members were still enjoyable to watch too like mark riley ken knapsack and stuff and they brought like katie sack off in and everything that was still enjoyable and they kind of lost sight they kind of lost sight of that when like they went to collider because i maybe the fame hit them and stuff because uh when they went to collider like they're getting the views, the Schmodown, the, the movie trivia Schmodown was like the popular thing. And everyone wanted to watch the Schmodown. So they only focused on the Schmodown. And they basically just got rid of the Schmoes No movie show. They just didn't care about the Schmoes No. Just the, uh, they didn't care about just Mark and Christian talking movies. I feel like they just, like, they were done with that and they wanted to focus on the movie trivia. And at the time, that was smart. Because when it was with Collider, it was raking in the views, and they were probably getting lots of money, and they were bringing in celebrities and all that stuff. It was a huge thing, the Schmodown. From, like, 2016 to even, like, to like early 2019, like, the Schmodown was a big, huge thing. And I was, a, I was a fan. I was a huge fan of the Schmodown and stuff, and people were loving it. They were rooting for people and stuff, but right after Collider went down the shitter... The Schmodown went down the shitter, and no one bounced back from it. And no one wanted to return to the Schmodown. No one wanted to return. Because when the Schmodown went to the Schmoes, Sh Schmoes No channel, and now they're just called the Schmodown, and I'm the Schmoes. They're not even. It's so hard, I'm getting like tongue, twi tongue tied here because Schmo, Schmo, Schmo. It's like a fucking tongue twister here. They're not the Schmoes No anymore. They're the movie trivia Schmodown. And now it's just a channel dedicated to movie trivia, but nobody's watching it. Because they left the Schmoes No to go to Collider, so no one paid attention to the Schmoes No YouTube channel. And now when they're back on this YouTube channel, no one came back to watch it. Because they went to Collider. They ditched their fans on the Schmoes No and went to Collider. And now the Collider, that went all fucked up. No one came back to the Schmoes No. That's exactly what happened. No one's watching. Nobody, and not a lot of people care. There are those diehard fans. So that's why they're getting like 10,000, maybe 15,000 views. Those are the diehards, but most people don't care. They they have like 80,000 80, people drop a video. Like, 
it is a huge spread. Like, like no one watches them. No one cares now. And some people might say also because of, like, political issues. Because the Shmoes now have... They're all kind of left-leaning and stuff because they have left-leaning people like RB3 and uh, Roxy Stryer and John Rocha who are very left-leaning. So, because Schmoes never went political. The Schmodown never went political. Even the movie trivia Schmodown and Collider never went really political. But they all have their own separate channels and they all are political on their channels. So, it goes into... The schmo, the schmo down, and yeah, it's pretty obvious they're all left leaning. So people who are right leaning, not interested anymore. So <laughs> uh, I don't think that's really the case. I just, I just feel like people don't care. I don't give a shit anymore. I don't watch any of these people anymore. I don't watch Mark Ellis anymore, or Christian Harloff, or John Roca, or any of these people anymore. I was once a fan. I'm not a fan anymore. I just, I don't care. I just don't care. Just, I don't, I, I, I don't care. I don't care about the movie trivia schmodown anymore. I know there's people that do, and that's fine. That's fine. But I'm like a lot of people. I don't give a shit anymore. And it really shows on their channel that most people don't give a shit anymore. The drop is huge, and I don't think they'll ever recover because I'm pretty sure the schmodown has returned for like a year, a year and a half now. It has not gotten better. And they've even tried. They brought, like, Kevin Smith on and stuff. I mean, because I, I, just last night I was scrolling through because I haven't went on the Schmoes channel in, like, a year. So I was like, hey, what are they up to? And, yeah, it's it's not good. Even when they bring celebrities, like, no one's watching. No one cares. And I don't think they'll ever re recover. I think they'll be fine. And, you know, they'll, they'll survive. But they'll never be what they were on Collider. And uh, they'll never be the Schmoes No Movie Show that people originally subscribed for. People subscribe for Mark and Christian talking movies. They don't even really do that. They do that on the podcast. They do every week. But it's a bunch of other people that you don't give a fucking shit about. So <laughs> it's not Mark and Christian. Like, people subscribe for Mark and Christian. That's what I subscribe for. So, and yeah, just, I don't know. Uh, the Schmoes, they're not the Schmoes anymore. Uh... I unsubscribed to them a long while ago. That and Collider's. Well, Collider's not even the same anymore. And just, they used to be just a simple show about guys talking movies. But then they went to Collider, tried to go big with this trivia schmo down. And it worked for a while. But it all just blew up in their faces. And they decided maybe they could have saved it and go back to their OG channel. Didn't work out for them. They paid the price, whatever, lost a lot of subscribers, lost a lot of viewership. I'm definitely one of them, but, you know, there's still fans out there. Maybe they'll get a following back. I doubt it, but they'll never be the same again. So, yeah, in the, in the comments section below, please tell me, are you guys a fan of the Schmoes? No, and do you guys enjoy them? Do you guys still watch them and stuff? Uh, if you do... Tell me why. <laughs> I don't see why. I don't see why you should, but tell me why. I'm actually very curious to know why. I'm not here to fully. I'm not here to judge you guys. So. Comment below. Let me know. And as always, if you like this video, please subscribe to the channel and join the duck side.